Well, it was a fantastic battle yesterday with Clark Kellogg um, against uh, Gao and Tang. Uh, it was against the odds, really. They didn't expect to get this far. There was huge celebrations. They've now got to come back to get to the business. End of the semi-final. And this is a great thrill. This is the big, big matches. Getting to the final is their absolute target. They've both got medals. And we have the first match of nine for you in this penultimate day of the 15th World Badminton Championships. Here we go then. Niels Mortensen calls them for court. And Wong Pei Ti will serve. Love all. Oh, that's a beautiful, well, that left-handed shot from Clark, Anthony Clark there, cross-court, picks up the first point, and that signals that uh, they're in good shape and good form already. Nervy moments, these opening exchanges. Oh, that's a big and a very impressive start from Clark and Kellogg. Clark comes in with a smash and a drop shot. Kellogg is controlling the net. Serve, over. One, three. A little lucky there for the Malaysians. Found the net and find the first point. Lovely adjustment there by Clark. Good rally here, Kevin. Beautiful rally, and the both teams playing very well. And uh, Kellogg just made a terrible mistake down the line. Well, we've got 4-1 up there. That's incorrect. It should be 2-3. That's better, thank you. Thanks, over. Two. Now at 4-2, as I said, nervy moments here, but um, there's no doubt they've warmed up well. They're right on song just after midday here in Madrid, and uh, they've had a really good chance to get a, a morning warm-up. Probably the most important match that both these couples have played in a long time. They have, and uh, you look at the style, it's quite Five. different today than yesterday because uh, yesterday they played a lot of uh, drive, uh, you know, better over the net. You know, today we're seeing a more up and down, and I think the English is uh, a favorite in playing this kind of style. And the Malaysia really have to push the shadows um, um, uh, flatter, and they're trying to, you know, pick up the pace a little bit. Um, otherwise, I think they're in the very, very tough battle against the English today. Super, 5-2. 2 7 7-2 oh, It's 3-7 uh, We've seen a couple of really good rallies, but uh, they're trying to explore and exploit weaknesses. Can't find them at the moment, but um, disappointment there. Ku and Wong, notoriously slow starters. They, um, in the previous uh, encounter, uh, that was, uh, let me just have a look at my notes here. They played against Rasmussen. 21-16, 21-16, not so bad there, but in the quarterfinals, they went taken to three games. Nine. 
against uh, the number one seeds and just edged it 22-20. So they've got resilience, they've got fitness, they've proven that. So the, uh, the English pair have really got to hold on tight here. Was that wide or was that good? That's if it good. was good, that was an absolutely superb Ball. shot. Magnificent Five. touch there by Kian Kia. This is beautiful net play. Wow. That's why this English pair have, uh, have beaten the double-time Olympic champions. They really are on form at the net. They are. And if you, you look at this game so far, and the English is very comfortable with the style of playing right now. They like to cross the net, placing their shots. The Malaysian team can't win the battle of placing the shot placement with the English team. They really have to push the pace, try to force, like, flat drives all that stuff oh that is a super shot once again Clark has put in a couple of those as we come to the halfway point of this opening game 11 points to four and that's probably what they deserve absolutely precision perfect there by Clark the left-hander and I tell you they will be very very excited they know that having beaten the Olympic champion I think their tails are up and their confidence is sky high they are they are um, clock and uh, he played a couple of good displays yesterday by his overhead drop shots and uh, his shoulder again today it gave a lot of trouble to the Olympic champions let's have a look at the stats then for that uh, the opening exchanges 11 for the score at the moment so you'd expect the smash winners to be well okay all, all square nets definitely to the English there look at that 6-1 wow that's huge Clear, the, clear winners also to Clark and Kellogg and then the unforced to Ku and Wong so the consecutives four points that's a good opening spell for the English they still have the little drift here in the Palacio de Deportes behind them which I guess can be in your favor if you're prepared for it. But, um, excellent play T at the net for 5-11. That's the first real mistake we've seen from Donna Kellogg. 6-11. We're back live. She makes up for it immediately for 12-6. 12 6. Well, six. Uh, six. Clark there was tempted to play it. Six. But uh Thought better of it, and that was a good choice. 13-6. A little bit long there, but uh, there's a quite a gap at the moment seven, seven points 14. the difference as we have a look at this overhead once again just a bit ambitious it wasn't that far away no oh, that's clever play absolutely beautiful that's the overhead shot we talked about by Clark and uh, he really caught uh, uh, one pay um, off balance and uh, then follow up with a big smash puts away nicely to 15-7 again it's Kellogg who wins the battle of the drives 16, at the net seven. and uh, even though the Malaysia missed that shot but I think that's the way they should be playing right now put a bit more aggression right I must say, the body language of the English pair, we talked about it before, okay, I'm English, and obviously I'm quite supportive there, but uh, the body language is very, very strong. It's uh, confident. It's a little bit wide from Clark this time, but they do look as if they mean business. 16. 
8-16. It's going to be really tough for the Malaysians to get back into this game at this uh, rally. Every, every point is uh, in the rally. Quick Nine. wristed there, Sixteen. caught the top of the rim of the racket. Oh yes, good play, Peti. First time we've really seen her and her excellent defence. Ten. She, ha she hasn't come alive yet today. You know, so all of a sudden, you know, she needs to step up, you know, to play with much more aggression than how she play, how she's been playing right now. Slow start, but don't uh, watch out. They don't call themselves the Harry Mals for nothing. Harry Mal means tiger in tiger. Malay. Yeah. Really? Wow. 11, 16. Well, I know Tiger is playing nearby in Ireland. <laughs> I mean, real Tiger. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. 12-16. They've got four well, points in a row here, 16. the Malaysians. Working hard, trying to put a bit of pressure on. They've certainly got some momentum. It's... Good stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Well, Donna Keller covers the net so well. All the work done by uh, Clark. Absolutely uh, sensational. 95% of the, the action. Most of it was uh, smashing, dropping. Kellogg comes in. Beautiful. Good stuff, isn't it? Very good stuff. I think, you know, the, in the beginning, the Malaysians play very slow pace, you know, they tried to pick, after they were down by seven points, they tried to pick the pace up a little bit. So! It's that reach. They are very evenly balanced in terms, well, certainly in terms of their physique. Donna, Donna Kellogg is very, very tall girl for her, well, not for her <laughs> age at all, but uh, she certainly is um, for a badminton player. So I think she's well, the ideal net player in terms she of is, physique. She is. And uh, the pair, uh, Kellogg and uh, uh, Anthony Clark, they've, they've really been improving a lot since last year. And that makes it then game point in this opening game of the first semi final of the mixed doubles here in Madrid. The crowd really getting into this and thoroughly enjoying what is an entertaining opening match. Oh, first mistake again. 13, 20. Are oh, the Malaysians certainly not giving it away at the moment. Hope springs eternal even at game point. Every service, there's bound to be a point. And that is it. A very weak finish in the end for Malaysia. Ku Kian Kia nets it. 21-14 is the score in the first. And really, I think that's a fair reflection after 14 minutes of the, uh, of the play. There's no doubt at all that the English pair were up for this game. We saw that they had great quality and style in the match last night. They played against uh, Chang and Gao. And there you can see, I'm sure that the English bench will be really delighted there. They could be battling for silver and gold if they can get through this stage. On the other hand, we have the Malaysians there. And Rexy Manaki must be just a little bit worried at the moment at 21-14. Let's have a look at the stats then. Little comment on this, Kevin. 3-2. Not much difference. But the net winner is 8-5 by the English. The clear winner still the Malaysia is over English. But the unforced errors is the key of this game. Consecutive points, still very similar stats. So that means that uh, Kellogg is playing a wonderful game at the net. She's forcing the errors also. and. Uh, 
And obviously Clark is coming in with a few smashes and the drops. But of course with the doubles game, the, the smash is much more difficult because you've got more of the court covered by a player. So it's the delicate drops and it's the forceful drives, I think, in the doubles game. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Clark, he is so deceptive in the back. You know, his deli drop shots adds with a lot of deception, you know, often catches his opponents off guard. So, as we talked about earlier, you know, Kellogg will be the key for this match, in this match, and as uh, she displayed, she's really prepared, you know, for this match, and uh, the English is really prepared well tonight. Okay, Niels Mortensen has called them to court. We are now at the start of game two, first semi-final, live from Madrid. Serve, serve. One, block. Oh, good stuff. Kellogg says, well played, partner. That really was beautiful. And there was a lovely deceptive drive there at the net as well during that, that um, rally. Big smash by Clark. Having said that uh, there's not much smashes that uh, are successful. <laughs> eat, eat my words again. <laughs> Oh dear, that, I mean that just is all round talent isn't it, to be able to set yourselves up for the drop, set yourself for the smash and then suddenly think, mm hmm, that's long, good work, and that, is, that just shows there is that drift, it was a high lift and there is a bit of drift, Clark has been told by the umpire not to be calling, a uh, bit of discipline around here please, there we go, <laughs> it's tough when you really are so excited Oh, it's good. That's a fantastic service. What Three. a brilliant... It touched One. the net, but it still went in. That's the best. That's the best. You know, you, anytime you can score easy point, it's always good. Good driving again. Oh. Big chance, but uh, they didn't take it. So Malaysia hanging in at 2-3, second game. Not afraid to hit it. Four. Two. I mean that... The Malaysians, I know, haven't played a huge amount together and it shows, isn't it? They were both going for one shuttle there and... Well, Opens I, up I, the I, I just think the English teams came out with a great game plan and they executed very well. Seems like the, the Malaysians never adapt into, you know, their, their rhythm and uh, wh how they wanted to do it, what they wanted to do. It, you know, it's, it's just totally different than yesterday. They look very frustrated because they, they, they are not able to play their own game. Good point. Judgment error there, but again, they had won the point during the rallies and then just gave it up on a, a misjudgment. The whole feel of the, of the game is that Kellogg and Clark are on top. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, I say my little language, it's a kiss of the shuttle there, and that's all it was. Look at this. What a beautiful shot by Kellogg. That is fast. Excellent. And again, but again it was Clark who set it up with some deceiving play at the base. They really are working very, very well together. 8-3. Are we looking at the champions? Wow. Very good possibility. Out of court. So fast at this time of the day. 
Yeah. You know Sorry. what, Joe? If Clark hey. and uh, Kella came through this match, and uh, Nathan and uh, Gil Ames came through the next match. Hey, man. You are looking at <laughs> English is in the finals for the next doubles for don't, the first time. Don't thrill me. <laughs> don't thrill me. KT makes a huge error there on the attempted drop. Well, in fact, it was a half smash, but uh, extraordinary. But yeah, that would be something. <laughs> something you'll be very happy about it. Sure. Yeah. Hey, this is a world feed. I'm not allowed to say those things. <laughs> well, but it's uh, it's really good for badminton. It'll certainly give them a lot. That was a double hit. Sorry, well, in fact, out. Kellogg touched it before uh, Clark, so Four. that will be point Six. to Malaysia at 5-10. Yeah, she just touched a little bit. Yep. She was trying to block the shot, but uh, it was a good attempt. But I tell you so, John, the, the Malaysian team just looked totally different than yesterday. Yep. Don't you think? I agree with that, but I think it's what, as you made the point, it's what they're allowed to be. Right. 4-10, I thought it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they go to the half in this second game with huge confidence. They're pumping the air, and I tell you what, they've got every right to feel good about it because they are totally dominating things. Extraordinary performance by the English duo. Ku and Wong are finding this tough. Look at the their heads are down, they're listening, but are they taking it in? Well, they, I think they're listening, they're trying to take it in, but uh, it's what English is not allowing them to do. You know, even though they want to play their games, but they're not able to. That's, that's why it's very frustrating. You know, I've been in that situation before. It's just a tough, tough. 20 seconds. 20 well, seconds. we've got to pinch ourselves and say these are the world championships. There we go, the top four and the easy smash winners there for England. Net winners England, the clears to England, and just edging the unforced errors. But they're not um, four again to uh, Kellogg and Clark. It's 11 4, so it's no wonder that those stats suggest 11, that they're uh, all parts, every department of the game, they are in uh, control. Kellogg now with the service there, 11 4. Ku Kian Kia is holding things up just a fraction, but. Uh, well, they really even don't look absolutely geared up there, do they? Nope. They look confused, and they, they look, uh, you know, um, seems like they're losing confidence as well. Look at that. Yeah, look well, at that. I mean, it's the combination. That's the thing. It's not just one player dominating. Clark. Yeah, well, he's, every time I see him, he impresses me more and more. And as you say, they've improved hugely. Hugely over last year. And uh, she played it extremely well yesterday against the Olympic champions from China. And she is just on the roll. It's a good shot from Ku this time. Kian Kiat puts uh, a big shot down the line, forces it into the body. Clark can't handle it. Net. 5-12. This is a this is going to be a, an unbelievable get a comeback if they pull things around from here, Malaysia. Ah! They're not going to come back with the shots like that. Uh, you see, you don't even just lose the serve, you lose the point in this uh, new game. So 13-5, Clark with the serve. KT can smash them, we've seen that. And that's out. You see, it shows the pressure is on because they're having to be absolutely extreme, taking those big risks, trying to find the sidelines. With a consequence there from Kuhl that he just overstretches the close on the racket face. again at the net this time now that tactic worked yesterday as against the Danes as you said yeah and you know the, the difference is if to be able to win the world championships you gotta you gotta prepare for any style but uh, the Malaysia obviously can only play one style not the other uh, it's a brave effort by Clark but it's a lovely placement so another point but still nine points adrift in this second let's have a look at this one Clark really moves he's chasing everything down that's what the Malaysian used to do uh, to push flat push quick 
And uh, but if just up and down, the English will win the battle. Two in a row, 7.15. Three in a row, 8.15. in a row, 9.15. This is getting a habit. 9.15. Well, they have the luxury of that lead of six points, of course. It was a lot more than that. In fact, it was ten points at one point. It was ten points, one point. You see, you can still have a loss of four points in a row once you've been that dominant and still drag it back. It's 16-5. They're five points away from a gold or sil silver medal battle. Kellogg and Clark of England. <laughs> Too much for Kellogg then. Quick hands from Kian Kia. Good drive there. Oh, easy. Well, the point was given to England. It was a complaint by Kian Kiat. He said that she might have touched the net. No way. No way. No way. The referee would never call that. So Kellogg absolutely threatens that net at every opportunity. Oh, what a oh. shot. What a shot from Clark. Wow. He, he changed it as it was on the racket. Right, you know, he's very deceptive. You know, he's, he, he, he's great around his body shots, his body shots. Just so deceptive. Superb. What a trick. He loves this game. He loves this game. Totally uncompromising. He's conceded the point there, and we might see a bit of blood and gore around this court, I'm sure. By golly, he's so busy, he doesn't glide around the court, he absolutely eats it, he munches it. 11, Extraordinary. 18. How do you get away from Kellogg? 19. He can't, not in this game, not in this match. Well, it's, it really is a masterclass by the English duo. I, I seriously didn't expect this. 1911, two points away from a gold medal opportunity. And with the luxury of seven points now, you wouldn't want to bet against it. England have three doubles pairs uh, that's 20 now and that is match point to England they have thoroughly deserved this position and Clark has got the service to go into the final that is it England have gone into the final a big punch Donna Kellogg and Anthony Clark have made it in there the Malaysians they can't believe what a dominant position the English uh, made there. It's just extraordinary. It wasn't even close. It was a very, very impressive pair, uh, mixed doubles match there. Kellogg and Clark took a huge amount of the fact that yesterday they beat uh, Chang and Gao. Uh, the Olympic double champions are big, big hugs there down the bottom corner. 21-14, 21-12. It was a massacre. Here's the story of the match then. Dominance for England. Clark and Kellogg, net winners, smash winners right the way through. Well, in fact, not quite clear winners, but uh, unforced errors. There was the problem there for Malaysia. 16-7, to but a really, really superb semi-final by Clark and Kellogg of England, beating Malaysia's Ku and Wong by two love.